Bobo C. Tiberius here with round four of a modern league post Hogak, I guess post bridge ban with Mono White Martyr. We are on the play and we will keep this hand. We love this hand. Uh, we like having the Elspeth late game. We like having the path early game and keeping two Rangers is always a strong start. Hope to continue to see opponents playing relatively fair decks. Um, this deck, this hand is a little slow. We are on the play. This hand is a touch slow, so a deck like Phoenix or Humans could could do some pretty quick damage to us. We'd be able to come back against it, though. Our opponent is deciding. They mold a six. I find the London Mulligan is making people roll uh, Mulligan a lot more aggressively, even more so than the uh, Scry Mulligan. I think it was the Vancouver Mulligan. My apologies, there was a knock at the door there. We'll start with the flagstones of Trocare and pass. Our opponent did mulligan 2-6, not any further. Didn't lose too much time to... Um, that knock at the door. I the cans I've been keeping lately have not been this good in terms of having white white. So we're actually really happy to have that so we can cast Ranger on time. We don't have to wait for uh, way to get the right mana for Ranger. Generous Gift is fine. Our opponent went Breeding Pool tapped. So they could be a more mid rangey deck, so the Generous Gift comes very correct. Happy about that path as well, if this is a mid range deck. Really, nothing, no complaints about this hand against a mid-range deck. I, it seems very difficult for a mid-range deck to beat this hand. Wouldn't mind seeing a black source, so we would know that this is a bug deck. It's a botanical sanctum for summoner's pack, so this could be neoform combo. I'm going to guess this is Neoform combo. They get the Allosaurus Rider, so this is very much Neoform combo. We do have the path for that. So we are okay with Neoform combo. They use Eldritch Evolution, not Neoform. They're down to one card in hand. So we'll now have to path when they get themselves. When they'll use Grizzlebrand twice, and we'll path there in response to them trying to gain life is the best time to path. They draw seven. 
they draw another seven. They could just miss here. We will see if they just miss here. And we will path in response to that. They can have their life, but they need to find another way to, they need to have the exact cards they need to do that again, which would be difficult. Long decision here for our opponent, which always spells good for us. We do get the Grizzle Brand passed, so we're very happy about that. They'll go back up to 21, though. And they exiled a... the worm, the Autocaton I don't know how to say that. Autocaton Morn? So, pretty standard Neoform shenanigans here. We do have to be ready for them to do that again, so we'll keep the Generous Gift alive. They're looking to play something here. They use Simeon Spirit Guide to get Wild Canter. That's fine by us so far. Nothing upsetting about that. They'll discard four cards now, two Sanctums, and a Breeding Pool. Can they discard all lands? Looks like they won't be able to discard all lands. They will have to discard a spell here. So we could go bold here. And we could generous gift their wild cantor, knowing they have to pay for the spell. If they do, if they are able to pay for the spell, we lose our removal. So let's see if we can take them off of land here. That seems to be the safer play. They fail to find, so... That's exactly what we want it, and they concede to us because they cannot pay for their pact. Um, that was a risky play, but it ended up working out pretty well for us. We will... The unfortunate thing about this is Rest in Peace does nothing. A lot of our sideboard, honestly, does very little. But there is more we want to bring in. Hmm. We could bring in the Damping Sphere, because that slows them from doing more stuff. Throwing off their mana seems like a good play. I'm going to take out the big mana threats here. And I'm pretty well content going from there. There's still some cards I don't like. So honest, mm. <laughs> this is tough. This is very, there's just nothing to bring in. We have most of our removal main, de main board, and we just have to kind of mull till we hit removal.
with the generous gifts and the winds of abandon, this gets a lot easier to fight. Um, that hand seems a little too weak, even with the damping sphere and the generous gift. We are on the we are on the draw here, so if we get turn two, we kind of just sit there with our hands in our lap. We do want a path. And it doesn't hurt us to mull to get it. There are times where I use an Avon Mind Sensor in the sideboard, and Avon Mind Sensor is very decent here. It's also, though, a little slow, and that's why we tend to not run it. The decks where it's most relevant, you can't get it down on time. So they mold a six, we will go with them. And as much as I hate not having a threat, we're fine with this. We will put back one of the Miss Veil planes. Our opponent stays at six with us. Our the worst case scenario, we get turned one here, but they didn't reveal, so. Another path is just fine with us. All of the removal. Botanical Sanctum. Allosaurus Rider comes down. And they neoform here for the Grizzle Brand. We're gonna try to execute the same exact game plan here. They're gonna Summoner's Pack here, and at that point, we'll take the Grizzle Brand. They're gonna try to go off here. I mean, I guess they don't have much of a choice. They get Chancellor. So they can only Nourishing Show for seven. That's a lesson to learn there. Wait till they cast the Nourishing Shoal for that. Lesson learned. Good to make that mistake while we have a game in hand. We are forcing them to do weaker Nourishing Shoals than they would otherwise like to do. As they try to get that worm. It looks like they didn't get something they can Nourishing Shoal or don't have the Nourishing Shoal to do it. So we now have effectively stopped them and they have to pay 8 on their upkeep. Glass Cannon decks, man. Glass Cannon decks. Path resolves. They get a forest. And they reveal Chancellor. Does Summoner's Pack have to get a green creature? Yeah. Noxious Revival for Nourishing Shoal. Simian Spirit Guide, Simian Spirit Guide, Simian Spirit Guide. They're going to try to go for this again. I don't see how they do that. I guess a Wild Cantor? Cast Wild Cantor, Sack Wild Cantor for Red Green. Manamorphose, okay. For Blue Green, I would imagine. That puts the Nourishing Show back in their hand. So 
So they would now need an Allosaurus Rider, which they can cast, and the Neoform. But at that point, can they get a Grizzlebrand? Do they play more than one Grizzlebrand? I don't think they do. Interested to see how they go for this here. They do play the Allosaurus Rider. Seven becomes nine. So they do have two Grizzle Brands. They need to Nourishing Shoal here and draw the card. X is seven. So they didn't have the Worm. But they will be able to draw some cards. They've got most of their decks, so they should be able to get us now. They've used up all but one of their Nourishing Shoals. No. Yep, yeah, and we still get there, so just having a path to stop the turn two is enough, even if you don't play it at the right time. We are 4-0 in this league. Looking forward to seeing you in the last one as we try to close out strong.